hello loves and welcome back to my channel if you are watching this video that means we have reached one year locked and i'm so 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 grateful i want to give you guys a little visual update about you know what my journey has looked like over the past 12 months i appreciate you guys and your constant support thank you and i will see you next time so a lot of people always ask me what did my hair look like before i got locks and I used to wear protective styles all the time. Here's some of the styles that I did. And when I took my hair out, this is what I had. Um, I wasn't loose natural for that long, but I had this much hair, like enough to have like a little fro. And I loved it. I thought it was so cute, so nice, but it wasn't 100% me. So that's when I decided to start my lock journey again. Here is month one. The first day I remember I was so, so, so excited. Like I was thrilled, honestly, um, just excited to have a second chance to start the journey. And this is some pictures from my first video, my first update. After the first like couple days or so, I'm telling you like immediately it got real. Like it got real immediately. My hair was just all over the place. It's almost like my hair was like, oh, so you want locks again? Oh, okay. Well, let me show you, remind you what the lock journey was like. It was such a hard time. Like I really struggled. Um, but month two came and it got a little bit better, a little bit better. I was able to do my very first retwist and I was actually really excited about that. Um, because I don't know it just it was a lot neater I felt like even though my hair was short it gave like a like little short kind of cut look like the same kind of vibe and with that and my makeup done and my lashes I felt comfortable I just pinned down the sides of my hair it was easy to look like professional going back to work with the style because it was short enough for me to just like pin it down and kind of slick it back and um I was able to just see the transition in my hair a lot easier in the beginning stages um, and it was a lot easier to manipulate so that's why I really didn't mind the first couple months it was hard going on like dates and events and things like that but I was able to work it out month three was an important time for me because it was the time where I finally feel like I felt the most comfortable I was able to feel a little bit more beautiful in a sense and a lot of people don't know this but I started the lock journey my second lock journey around the time that I had my daughter so I had a lot of insecurities in the beginning of the journey my weight was all over the place my body was just not to the point I needed it to be but after that three month stage and my hair began to lock it just gave me so much more confidence and then I got hit again because month four I promise you was probably the the worst month out of every month month four really tested me like my hair just wouldn't lay down it wouldn't hold a retwist it was unraveling like you can really see it in this picture it was unraveling terribly it just I it just I, I really felt like giving up like it was to that point I felt like quitting um, I didn't feel like I just I don't know I didn't know what I was gonna do but I couldn't give up because I know I had so many people watching me and at this point I'm really glad I didn't give up but that was a hard time so if you are going through this stage believe me it gets better hang in there but I remember it was a rough rough time I really got through it using wraps and things like that um, just to cover up on the rough days and month five really was like a breakthrough month for me as well um, because it's like after the craziness in month four, month five, kind of like my, my locks settled down and calmed down. They begin to drop a little bit. So I was really excited about that. Like they were not locked all the way, but they were beginning to almost like fall in line. Like they were being a little bit more obedient. Like they weren't just acting crazy. They were holding a retwist for a, a little bit longer and it became easier to manage. And my hair began to lay down without me having to put bobby pins in it. Um, so that was definitely, that that made life a lot more easy. <laughs> and of course, my husband, he was just so supportive throughout the whole journey. So I was really grateful for that. Month six though, y'all, I am telling you, like month six is probably by far one of my favorite months in the journey. I felt like I really knew what I was doing. 
my hair was just being so kind to me. <laughs> like I was putting the wraps aside. Like I was wearing my hair out more often. I was wearing my hair out every day to work, to events. I was wearing my locks. And I was just so confident in the journey. My hair wasn't 100% locked yet. As you can see, like some of my ends were still like, you saw the two strand twist pattern a lot during this month. But I was still very much like aware of the journey, aware of myself. I was just really into like my whole look, honestly. And I really felt like I was farther along than what I was like because the confidence was just there. Like I, I was accepting full on the journey. I was accepting all the frizz. I was accepting like the wild days just as much as I was accepting the other days. And month seven really i felt like i needed month six because month seven really took me to a different stage in the journey because it was during the time when my hair was beginning to fully lock and what that meant that my hair needed to shrink up a lot of those loose ends began to bud and that means my hair appeared to be a lot shorter in this month than it did in the other months it was really weird but um it didn't stop me from you know wearing my hair out and things like that it didn't stop me from putting my wraps aside because I just wanted to make sure that I was comfortable no matter what my hair looked like, no matter if it, you know, it looked like it dropped or it looked like it shrunk up. I wanted to be comfortable. So I took that step to wear my hair out more often. And I feel like after a while that really helped it to lock a little bit faster. I know that seems odd, but I feel like my hair was, you know, always out and always in the open. I wasn't covering it up. So it drops a lot easier. Um, that's just how it felt for me. So I still wore wraps every now and then, but I was wearing my hair out a lot and it began to form. Um, you guys see that I have a part in my hair. I wore that part probably all the time and I did not style my hair much in the beginning stages, especially during these months. Like I, I rarely styled my hair. I wore it out as often as I could and as straight as I could. And I feel like it really began to like frame my face like you know and I really enjoyed that um, I love this stage as well because it started to get a little bit warm outside and I just felt like everything was finally coming together like my hair rarely stuck up during this time like it it pretty much fell and framed my face every day for the most part even when my hair began to grow out at the roots, my hair was still, you know, it had enough weight to where it was able to fall. At month nine, guys, I felt so mature. Like, I can see it. Like, in these pictures, I felt so mature in the journey. Like, so mature. I felt like, truly, I was deep in the journey. I had my routines down, like my moisture routine. I knew what oils I wanted to use. I knew how frequently I needed to retwist. And during this time as well is when I transitioned to only retwisting like once a month. And I felt like that helped a lot with the thickness towards the end of my journey because I always tell you guys, as your hair gets longer, like you will not need to retwist it as much because of the weight of the locks. And I feel like that helped me maintain some of the thickness because as your hair begins to lock, sometimes, you know, it can thicken up, but often sometimes as well, it can thin out a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that I maintained the same size. And I did that by letting it, you know, breathe and, and not be manipulated as much. So that's what helped me out. Um, it was still hard sometimes. Like just because you are deep in your journey doesn't mean that you're not gonna have rough days. And I still had rough days. Like even, to, even now, I still have rough days. But this is when I decided to really start putting my hair up in little little quick little cute styles to help me get from like retwist to retwist I was um really enjoying like how my roots looked and then month 11 came and I just really could not believe that I had been in the journey for that long like 11 months really isn't a long time but in terms of like viewing your hair every day and seeing how often your hair changes and transitions I just I couldn't believe that it had changed that much like I felt like all those crazy months months four month seven I felt like it was all worth it because I started to see that my hair was fully locked and that's what was my focus throughout the, the entire first year just making sure my hair locked in a healthy way because um, I knew that the length would come later and that's exactly what happened towards the end of month 11 
the length really came. That's what I feel. Like the length really came and I was able to maintain a lot of the fullness because when month 12 came, listen, you cannot tell me anything. Like I was one a year locked. I couldn't believe it. Like I was so glad that I didn't give up. I tell everybody this, like give yourself a year. Don't quit. Stay in the journey. You will not regret it. Like my hair changed so much. Uh, My mentality changed so much and I was able to connect with a lot of other women and tell them, you know, you can be confident, you can make it through this journey and learn to love yourself and accept yourself on the good days, on the bad days. You will not regret it. Stay in the journey. It will be worth it. And that's what happened for me. So I'm so thankful. I appreciate you guys all for joining me in the journey. A lot of you guys don't know this, but you are the very reason why I was able to stick in there. Um, So happy one year lock to me. Happy whatever month you are on. And I thank you guys so much for joining me again on this journey. Stay locked, loves. Thanks for watching.